Hey guys, it's Nelson with Galaxy Note 2 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and customize your very own uh, Android launcher. So, um, the first thing you'll need to do is go head over to the Play Store, and the application is called Buzz Launcher. So, um, what this does is it, um, you know, it enables you to uh, to download your own home screen, uh, your own custom uh, home screen on your device. Uh, to replace the one that's your stock one, which would be TouchWiz for the Galaxy Note 2. So, uh, you know, you just install it. It's free, so you don't have to worry about paying anything. Um, a few of, there's over 40,000 um, home screens available from this, in, f inside of this application. And uh, the majority of them are free. There might be a few that cost money, but uh, I didn't run into many. And the cool ones that I found were free, so you don't have to worry about that. The application is pretty big as well. It's a uh, 10 MB, so you'll need some room, but not that much. Okay, I'm already installing. Okay, I'll open it up now. Okay, once you open it up, you'll be taken to this tutorial. You can just swipe across. It'll tell you that you can share the home screen with friends if they also have Buzz Launcher. Um, a few other things. And just press confirm down here when you're done with that. And from here, you'll be taken to uh, default home packs, which are uh, some of the home screens that the app just comes with already. You'll only get a handful. So you can just swipe over. There's like three or four. Yeah, just these. So I'll just... Uh, I guess I'll apply now for this one. Um, here, we uh, no need to bring in TouchWiz Home. If you select TouchWiz Home, that means that the pages that you already have on your device, like the whole setup that you have, will be um, integrated with the new home screen. I did that previously, and it's really, really messy, so I wouldn't suggest it. But if you want to try it out, try it out. So for this purpose, I'm going to put no need to bring. And I'll just apply now, and it'll download the home pack. They're usually really, really quick to download. And now it's gonna show us the preview. Let's see how long this takes. Do, do, do. Okay, there we go. Okay, once you're done, um, oh, this is gonna show you all the different pages that will be available. So from there, just confirm. And there you go. This is your new launcher now. So, um, yeah, from there, uh, you, if you see that some of them have that little download thing on there, that means that you um, you can just tap on it, and you can download. You'll need to download Buzz Custom Widget, which is, which will um, fill in a lot of those uh, gray icons with the download. So just put check and install in Google Play. So you'll be sent over to the Play Store again, and. This is just another like offshoot of the Buzz uh, launcher. So just install this as well and accept. This one's really quick, so I would suggest doing this one. With this one, we're gonna get back to it in a little bit a little bit later. But with this one, you can edit widgets. So I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, so now you go back, and I'll just tap on it again, and it'll tell me that I can add a, a widget now. And boom, now I have the widget. You'll see this up here, this uh, qu question mark. That'll come up from time to time. So if you're confused about what to do, just tap on that and it'll take you to a little tutorial. And there's so many tutorial pages with this app. So that's really, really uh, a useful thing. Uh, down here, you'll see a few more gray areas that um, this will download usually applications. So that's for WhatsApp. You can actually change them. You can just hold on it. And from there, you can edit, resize, and remove. So if you want to edit it and put a a different a different application so you can change it instead of having whatsapp you can just have let's see i'll just pick a random gta vice city so now i'll have gta vice city there instead and to change the icon you can head over here and you can uh in the question mark i'll just click on the question mark really quickly and here see it'll give you a little tutorial on how to uh how to edit your own uh how to edit the icons and create your own so anytime you're confused just press that uh just tap that um, I don't have any icons currently, so I'll just keep it clear. You can even like uh, do a picture that you have in your here, so uh, you can 
I'll just do this one. Let's see, and I'll put him, and he'll be my icon. Little B, if you guys don't know who that is. So, complete. And as you can see, they're okay. And now there you go. There's the icon that I just created. You can edit it and make it like this. So change all that. Um, anytime you want to edit anything, just hold on it, just like that. And you can move it around, resize it, um, do whatever you want. So uh, to show you, I'll show you now how I can edit a widget. Which This is like one of my favorite parts of the application. So I'll just uh, tap down here on this little B. The B will be uh, in different places on your different uh, home screen launchers. So just tap on B. And oh wait, actually no, never mind. Clicking that B takes you to all the home screens that you can now pick from. Because if you, uh, when we started, there was only f like four or five that you could pick from. So now you can go through all of these, and there's so many. And you can see how many people have downloaded them. Like just, I'll just pick a random one here. So this is where like all the all the cooler stuff is. So I'll download. Uh, let's see, I'll download this one. And right here, you can just see download. Um, oh, you can actually add it to the home pack, but I'll just apply to my home. And let's see how long this one takes. But yeah, that way you guys can check all of the, uh, okay, that was quick. Um, you can see all the pages there, so just confirm. So as you can see, you can add the widget again, since you already have the other one downloaded, and that's it. Um, okay, now to edit the widgets, you can go uh, over here, all you have to do is press menu, and, wait, where do we go? Decor wallpaper, no, oh, decor wallpaper here, you can change uh, the screen, the grid, the margins of it, you know, it changes small, like, yeah, how close the apps are together, things like that. Uh, we can just go through all these, actually. App drawer, it'll show you your apps, uh, all screens show you all the screens you have. You can add screens if you'd like. Uh, contents and upload. Um, from here you can uh, you can see your icons, your home packs, your apps and widgets. From here actually you can do apps and widgets. And uh, whoa, not that apps and widgets. Whoops. Okay, I'll just do it from here. Just You just hold on it and edit. And then, no whoops app info. No, not that either. So how is it that you do it? Oh, there we go. So all you have to do is just double tap on it. That was, that was kind of hard. Sorry guys about that. But from there you can, this is pretty awesome, you can change the size of it, the decor, Whoa, I want to edit widget. Why can I edit this? Actually, I'll just go to another one. Okay. Here. Okay, there, finally. The custom widgets. From there, here, you can uh, edit all the widgets. Uh, I'll just pick this battery status one here. Really quick. And I'll just click on it. And you can see I replaced it. So from here, you can change the size, move it around uh, the decor, change the color of it. So I'll just do a, a green color really quick. Press OK. Press OK. There you go, and you can see that it's green. You can change the other side. Um, you can change the font. You can rotate it. You can, you know, just do about anything. Uh, change how big you want it, how wide you want it. Um, there's a lot of things. So this is pretty cool to mess around with this. So for sure, you guys should mess around with the widget thing. You can create your own widget. And that's how you can fully customize the uh, home screen. And the home screen you can then, if you create a really cool one, that uh, you can share uh, with your friends or with other people, and they can download them. So yeah, if you guys want to head back to your original homepage, just tap on menu and go to Touch with Home, and there you'll be taken back to your original home screen. And if you want to just get, uh, just uninstall it if you don't want that, because every time you press the menu button now, it's going to give you the option. So if you want, just uninstall them, and then you'll be good. All right. Thanks guys, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Galaxy Note 2 Softmodder. Alright, thanks.